Chapter 56, The Reason for Number Visualization. After doing enough number visualization exercises, you may indeed become a math whiz, but that is not the reason for it. It's just a side benefit. There's a real and more important reason, as you'll see. Let's first talk about symbols and objects. Symbols and objects are two entirely different things. Objects are the concrete reality and symbols are the abstract reality used to represent them. When we do conscious observation, we deal mainly with concrete everyday reality. When we do number visualization, we're dealing with the abstract reality of symbols. Numbers are the easiest and most common symbols to deal with in modern times because they're quite commonly taught, used and well understood. There are other symbols used in the process of initiation that are more involved and can perhaps be called higher symbols. They are harder to see and understand, not because they are more complicated, but because they are common, uncommon in this age. Thus, our minds are not trained to comprehend them. These symbols were common in ancient times because back then initiation was the normal means of education. These symbols exist within everyone's mind. They can be seen and understood after a person has reached a certain level of mastering their mind as well as mastering their ability to visualize. The natural symbol symbols are a complete form of language. They communicate concepts and knowledge in a way that is short, concise, and to the point. Without the symbol, such knowledge would take many years to teach by speaking or writing. The visualization of numbers is one simple way to practice and train the mind to ultimately see the natural symbols. That is the real reason for the exercises. Later on, we'll get into more involved mathematics, not necessarily more complicated, but more involved in that it will require more of your attention. For now, try your best to do the number visualization every day. It takes only three to five minutes a day and the benefits will accumulate. After several months, you'll be very glad you invested those three to four, four minutes. In addition, doing the exercises every day is a way to overcome the negative effects of mental laziness and or lack of motivation. These two negative things are the biggest obstacles to attaining self-remembrance or initiation. A person can never hope to complete initiation if he and she gives into the negative effects of mental laziness or lack of motivation. These negative traits can be easily overcome by practice. They themselves gain power by repetition. In other words, the more you give it, to them, the stronger they control you. To overcome them, get into the habit of doing the visualization every morning. The more you do it, the easier it will be. It's all about practice. If you find yourself debating with these negative aspects of the mind, whether you should do something or not, know that you are very likely to lose the debate. Such traits have a thousand and one rationales and reasons why you shouldn't do it. The only way to defeat them is to not enter into a debate at all. Don't even give them a chance by thinking about doing. Simply do it. Try the following strategy for a couple of weeks and you'll see how powerful it is. Do the visualization as soon as you wake up. Write the numbers on paper the night before or set up your computer. As soon as you wake up without thinking about it, spend three or four minutes doing the exercise. Do this for two or three weeks every morning and soon thereafter it will become a habit you will no longer even entertain the idea of postponing for no good reason. At that point, you may stop doing them in the morning and do them at any time of day that suits you. And you won't have any problems of procrastination. This kind of practice will benefit not only one type of exercise, but the rest also, as well as your life in general. When the time for your initiation comes, you'll be mentally ready and fully motivated.